Hi everyone. Today I'm doing a beach swipe with some of my leftover colors. I did one before. Um, and I'm gonna. I need to do more to use up my colors, so I'm gonna try another one. It's on the same type of canvas as I used before as I used before, so I could get a matching pair. Anyway, so <clears throat> I'm using some leftover base that I mixed together. It's kind of a pinky color, but you won't see that once, you won't see that once the um, paint on top spreads out. Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. This is Ultramarine Blue, uh, also Amsterdam. Green Blue, Amsterdam. Um, green Blue, Pibio, Iridescent. And I have Copper and Gold, Iridescent from Pibio. And I also have Two tail peas, this little piggy pigments, shimmer and white haven. They're um, interference. I have white and dioxin purple cell activator. Oops, I'm gonna swipe with. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna pretty much use up this one. gone. Okay, then my next one, the ultramarine. Amsterdam. And then my Pebio green blue. The last one, I don't think I added enough of this color, so I'm going to add the rest of this pretty much. I could probably just pour it out. Sloppy mess. Then the gold. Then the gold. Add this all the way down. Okay, and the call 
copper. <clears throat> copper. Should be good that much. Should be good. Now I'm going to add some shimmer. And I'm just going to sprinkle it kind of all over. Bigger bubble there. That should be good. Now, oh, that was White Haven. Oh, dear. This is shimmer. I'm going to use this to swipe with. So I'm going to go across. I'm going to move this over a bit like this so that I have the space, enough room for my arm to um, swipe with. Cell activator to the swipe tool. And then I'm going to add the um, dioxin purple. There's not a whole lot left in this, so. Hopefully I have enough. Oops. This is what it looks like. Okay, shoot. Just gonna move it like that. All right, let's swipe. And you put the this, this tool on a slight angle. It's a lot of paint. I'm just going to let that <clears throat> develop. Right. It's looking pretty cool. So I'm just going to let that s develop for a, little, a few more minutes. I'm going to tilt some of this off though because a lot of white ends up going on the one the side that you start with usually. So All right. Just going to 
going to tilt a little bit this a little bit off this one side it might just spin off so I'm not going to tilt too much okay Let's spin Like it. All well, the edges are covered, no problem. It's moving, still moving a little bit. So I'm just going to. don't want to take too much off, but just enough. I, um, I have air bubbles here, so I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm taking the air bubbles out. I'm just pushing down in the middle of the, the white spot. Um, I'll show you this one here with my skewer and um, it kind of disappears. It brings the paint, the blue, around the outside in, and then it covers up the the uh, the dot. That's not too bad. Here, this one here, this tiny little one, at the edge. Where is it? Okay, it's there. And then I just push my skewer in the middle. And it's gone. Show you a bit of a close up. I'm going to let this dry and then um, I'll show you the dried result. I might have to pop a few more uh, air bubbles on this before I can let it dry. See you in a bit. That's the dried result. Dried really nice. Nice and flat. No cracking. Took two days to dry. Covered. I always cover my paintings, and uh, yeah, it didn't crack. It didn't crack at all. Dried pretty much the same. And uh, it doesn't look like I got any more air bubbles in it. Okay, so thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye for now.